about the experiences of indigenous people past and present. Our next guest is one native voice who's challenging some of the foundational stories we tell about this country. In his recently launched book, An Afro-Indigenous History of the United States, Dr. Kyle T. Mays, who is Saginaw Anishinaabe, examines both the enslavement of Africans and native dispossession, revealing how the two were deeply intertwined. It's an incredible book, and honestly, it's one of the first to offer simultaneous accounts of black and indigenous resistance on these lands. And, you know, you have even today, um, hoteps, if you will, who claim that there are the original peoples. And we have to dispel that myth because it's dangerous rhetoric that erases indigenous peoples. Say, say a little bit more about that. When, are you, when you say that, and I don't particularly use the term hotep, but it, you're saying that there are, po there are pockets of, uh, of thought that would suggest that African people or black people are the original people. And are you saying that it's inadequate as an analysis because we should say that there are multiple original peoples or are you saying that black people aren't the original people and that indigenous people are? I'm just trying to clarify for the audience. Right, so there's a segment, especially through social media, uh, and I've been attacked and been claimed to be a part of the Copper Tribe. I have no idea what that is. Uh, and they say that black people <laughs> are the original uh, peoples of the U.S. Uh, with no historical documentation. Mm, gotcha. And it ignores Native people's uh, histories of, you know, how they, how long they've been here, right, creation stories. Uh, and it's just a dangerous thing that perpetuates the erasure of Native peoples, which is uh, central to American history and popular culture. Indigenous Afro-American DNA is haplogroup R1. In this video, we will talk about genetics. Afro-Americans are indigenous to North America. We are indigenous because our ancestors were Black Native Americans, Black Europeans, and Sub-Saharan Africans. Most geneticists claim that Afro-Americans are not Native Americans because they say we don't carry Native American genes. This is a lie, because Mongoloid Native Americans and Afro-Americans carry genes that originated in Africa and are still carried by Africans today. We have not detected uh, any uh, African-like populations in the New World, uh, to my knowledge. And African populations are very, very genetically distinct. Uh, the separation between African populations and non-African populations occurred anywhere between 60 to 200,000 years ago, depending on the African population that you are you know, thinking of. So for example, West Africans, uh, the most likely donor population in the New World and the, likely do the, the donor population to the African diaspora in the New World, um, diverged from Eurasians on the order of, of 60 to 100,000 years ago. And so they show up, when they show up in the ancient DNA, uh, they're very clear, they're very distinct. And to my knowledge, we don't see any of this uh, in the New World samples before 1492. We found that there were five primary mitochondrial DNA lineages present. Um, these lineages have become um, designated by letter names in the scientific um, world. And the ones that we see in Native American populations were the mitochondrial lineages A, B, C, D, and X. And these five lineages are ones that are common today in Native Americans, and they were the ones that were present in these ancient communities, were the mitochondrial lineages A, B, C, D, and X. Were the mitochondrial lineages A, B, C, D, and X.